Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. If you are a Microsoft Office user and you have an iPad, you definitely want to check out this video. I'm going to do a deep dive, everything you need to know about Microsoft's new application, the Office app for the iPad. You can see here, I've got all the Microsoft Office apps, the standalone apps. Uh, and then this one here is the new Microsoft um, Office application. They've blended um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint into this one application. Now the question is, do you need these standalone apps? You don't need any of the standalone apps. You can get rid of them. However, I'll explain why I'm keeping those apps, okay? Because if you do multitasking, you can't use the Microsoft Office app. So here we let's go. Let's do a little quick deep dive. And when you open it up, as long as you're signed in to one of your um, standalone apps, this will automatically sign you in. So remember, you do need a subscription uh, for Microsoft Office. It is a subscription-based model. Here we go. It opens up the hub. This is the home page here. And what you see is all of your files. You have this is a mixture of all your files. So here you're going to get um, your Excel, your PowerPoint, your Word. You're going to get all of those files here, yeah? Now, let's go ahead and open one of these up. If I open this application up, this is a PowerPoint, okay? My daughter was doing a, a review of Stickman. If I open up the app Expose, you can see it's opened in the Office application. So it doesn't, you don't need the standalone PowerPoint application. This will open up in Office. So this is actually opening up in Office. Now, the thing is, if I've got this open and I'm coming down here and I want to bring another instant of, uh, I want to multitask here. Look, I can't, I can't, you can't multitask with the Office app. However, you can go ahead and open up um, a PowerPoint. So if I went to the standalone application, PowerPoint, I can open up a PowerPoint here. So this is the stats pr probability uh, PowerPoint here. I can open up. You see, so I can have my, my daughter's um, review of Stickman and I've got my stats probability PowerPoint here, but here's the thing, they're two different applications. This is the PowerPoint standalone application and this is the Office app. Now with the Office app, you cannot multitask. So, you know, that's a bummer. You know, they've released an application, which is fantastic because it sort of synchronizes everything in one hub. However, you can't multitask task with it. So if you're opening up two Excel sheets, you can't. However, with the original, if I go back to this, you can open up two um, uh, Excel spreadsheets using the standalone app, okay? So that is something that you can do with a standalone app. So you may wanna decide, hey, look, I'll show you. You see, I can open up two um, uh, standalone applications here. So look at this, I've got you know, two apps, two spreadsheets running at the same time. Now you can't do that with the Office app. So that's the caveat, you might wanna keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get rid of the PowerPoint standalone app. So what about the functionality and the user experience? Well, it's pretty much the same as the standalone apps, okay? So I could do everything that I need to do here on the Office application. You know, I could manipulate stuff and it also is content aware. So remember that we had the update, we had done a video about uh, mouse and trackpad support. So here we go, here's a mouse, okay? And I've got my trackpad as well. So with my mouse then, Let's just put it in frame here. If I go on to, this is the app by the way, okay? So not the standalone app, this is the Office application, okay? So look, it's content aware. It allows me to, you know, change and manipulate and have that precise navigation and control using a mouse or a trackpad. So that's that. It's got all the features. It's not watered down by any means. It's, it's all of the features, it has all the features, uh, but all in one application. So in one hub, you've got everything here. I can go ahead, it's content aware, I can type on, you know, I could click somewhere and edit a particular word or add to that word, okay? Uh, because the latest updates that you had on the standard mode, Word, PowerPoint and um, Excel applications that is uh, ported over to here as well. There are some additional features here that would want me to keep this application over the standalone ones. And that's over here. If I go to the sort of the app grid, there's things like PDF to Word. Now that's wonderful. And this scan to PDF as well. And then you can obviously convert from, from Word to PDF anyway. You can save it, save um, a Word file as, as a PDF. So it's built in some of these extra features here, yeah, which are quick access. So if you're constantly scanning documents or you're converting from PDF to Word or you're signing uh, a PDF, actually the other day I was signing a PDF and this only, this only been out for three days. And so I had to sign a PDF and I was downloading a PDF into GoodNotes and then I was signing it in GoodNotes. And if I had this app, I could have done it straight from here. So I could just sign a PDF here. So I could go ahead and browse 
my files, download a PDF um, straight into Office and then go ahead and annotate and sign the PDF from this application all while not leaving the Office application. OK, so I wouldn't. It's all done in the Office application. So that's brilliant. Signing a PDF, you can uh, convert a PDF to Word. OK, so if I've got a PDF, I can convert it to Word. This is actually PowerPoint, so which is built in to the office app which is fabulous man because that's stuff that you do maybe you know if, especially in the office environment you're doing that on a daily basis uh here we go look so it's converted this to a word format so i can go ahead and click on stuff and move it around and so on and so forth here we go look oh spelling mistake i'm gonna change that around yeah, so you can convert PDF to Word and so on and so forth. You can go ahead and share it as usual. So right now, this is in Word format. I could go ahead and share this if I wanted to. Go ahead and share it to whoever I want to share it to. I can upload it to my OneDrive. Um, talking about OneDrive, if you go to the folder icon, you can go. You can access your OneDrive. You can access the files on your iPad or your Files app and so on and so forth. You can add extra storage uh, accounts as well. So I can access all of my uh, folders and files here, okay, through this one application. So it's brilliant in the sense that it allows you to sort of navigate in one platform, okay, using one app. Do I need the standalone apps? Well, I often multitask, okay, so for that reason alone, uh, I would keep my standalone apps because if I've got one Word file open and I've got an Excel file open, because when I'm writing reports, uh, I'll have a Word and an Excel open at the same time and going back and forth. If I've got any, um, you know, presentations that I need to prepare and I'm taking attendance at the same time, I might need an Excel open. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Now, for Outlook and, and OneNote, they're not baked into the Office app. So for that reason, you are going to want to download those particular um, applications independently of the Office app. What else can I tell you? Um, you can annotate. So for example, if I open up a, uh, a Word here, so I can still use the Apple Pencil and I could draw. So my draw features here. I think I could draw. I can draw with touch as well. Okay, you could draw with touch. That's brilliant because you can sign documents just using draw. Okay, and of course uh, that Apple Pencil works as well. Okay, so in addition to inking and, and doing all that stuff, if I go back to the home page here, the hub, uh, and you can see this little plus button. With this plus button here, you can add quick notes. You can, so for example, if I click on Word here, this is like the quick access panel. I can quickly scan a text. I could open up a blank document or I can create from a template. So if I click on template here, it allows me to choose one of the many, you know, array of templates that I have here for sale, for example, and I can start editing this document. Uh, again, look the same thing. If I click on um, the plus sign, go to PowerPoint, I can choose pictures. I can have a blank PowerPoint or I can create it from a template. Um, and then, of course, the same is true for Excel. You can scan. Oh, scanning tables. Brilliant. Yeah, scanning a table. I've done a video on, on this where you can scan information. So scan data and it will put that data straight into uh, a spreadsheet. That's brilliant, man. So if you had a question, in fact, if you scan a table, you can actually scan from uh, your pictures as well. You can scan from, you can select the picture, you see. So I, I could go ahead and I could scan data. Do I have uh, anything here right now? I don't think I have anything. Uh, I don't have any data that I want it to scan. But yeah, you can scan data. So if you're doing a stats, you know, you, you, you're getting some information for, for a stats model or something, you can scan data, which is brilliant. So I'm glad that they've actually brought that into the quick access panel here. So this is brilliant for Excel. You can do a quick scan table, um, open a blank uh, workbook, or you can create it from a template. And of course, you can have all the templates available here for you to use. Um, the one caveat of this application is that it doesn't allow you to multitask. And I'm sure they'll, they'll update that at some point, okay, to bring multi multitasking in. For now, it's not available, but it is not a big bummer anyway, because you can use the standalone apps for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, it would have been great if, you know, they had it baked into here. Like I said, okay, your OneNote, um, your Outlook, they're applications that you're going to have to download separately. Uh, and use Teams doesn't work with this. So Teams, you're going to have to get that and download that separately uh, and work with that as well. Yeah. So they haven't baked in Teams because okay, you can't do that. Uh, there's nothing new in terms of the applications as well. So, for example, Excel doesn't allow you to use macros. It never has. OK, so that's not something that you're going to be ama amazed about. Like, oh, yeah, it's got it's got new features. It doesn't. It's just basically a hub where it's a, it's 
amalgamated all of the free app, all the main free applications, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. As I said before, it allows you to create a form and convert a PDF to Word and scan a PDF, do all of that good stuff. So definitely, definitely download the application. It's free anyway. If you've got a, a, a Microsoft subscription, download the application. It's a free download. If you are a big power user and you do multitask, then perhaps continue to download the standalone apps. Okay, these apps you're going to need. Uh, however, if you don't do a lot of multitasking, then most definitely go ahead and get yourself the Office application. As always, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, consider subscribing, turn on notifications, share it with a colleague or a friend that you think that might find that useful as well. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.